Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com here coming at you with a seven box all-star mixer. Perfect, because the all-star game is happening right now on a Tuesday, the 11th um, in July. This is random team break number three. And at the very end, there'll be a completely separate random dice roll and randomizer for the Steiner box. We're, gonna give away. We're running out of those, by the way. So a uh, big thank you to these folks for getting into the action. And all of the baseball teams are in. Let's roll the dice. We're going to randomize uh, each list six and a four, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. We got TJ down to Allen. Copy that and put that into this column here. And then once again, six and a four, 10 times for the teams. Good luck teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. Braves are on top and the Astros are on the bottom. So here's how this part of the break pans out. All right, so TJ, you have the Braves. Peter with the Padres. John, you have the Tigers. Big Boys, 007 with the Phillies. Adam K, Twins. Brian Evans, Mets. Casey, you got the White Sox. Mary Lou, how's it going? Cardinals, Brewers, and Yankees. Dodgers for Leo. Mary Lou, Mariners. John Perkins with the Angels. Casey with the Pirates. Robbie with the Cubs. Cruz, you got the Blue Jays with your last spot mojo. Jacob Allen with the A's. Jacob Hill with the Indians. Couple Jacobs, Adam K, Rangers, Lee, you got the Nationals, Daniel with the Rockies, Anthony, Diamondbacks, Arthur, Orioles, James, Rays, Jacob Hill, Royals, Travis Neve, you got the Red Sox, Virgil with the Reds, Robbie with the Giants, Mike Koontz with the Marlins, and Allen with the Astros. So there you go. Um, I'm going to print this out. That's about the time you have to trade. Usually there's not, not too many trades in these sort of things. Let me just print this out. Yeah, that's a new one, TJ. TJ's like, I never hit the Braves. So yeah, I was like, that makes sense. All right, and then as you know, uh, there'll be a separate randomizer and a new dice roll for the um, the Steiner Jaspi giveaway. That's the product that we curated from Steiner Sports. We're running out of those Steiner boxes too. So any break you see, that's a Steiner giveaway on it. Be sure to check it out and try to get yourself one of these special memorabilia boxes. Trade window closed. So let's move on. Let's move to the other screen right there. So here's the official printout for random team break number three on jazbeeshobbyland.com. On the 8th, that's incorrect. I copied and pasted from the, from the other thing. There you go, Tuesday the 11th. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll start with, I guess we'll go with the oldest one first, right? Yeah, that's 2015. So this is a seven boxer. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven right there. All right, and uh, we're not shipping paper base, but anything else that's inserts or a number card or whatever, parallel even if it's not numbered, non-numbered parallel, that those will ship paper, vet base, stuff like that will not ship. All right, so rip these open first. Speaking of Topps, folks, Topps Stadium Collection is out tomorrow. We have divisionals of that on jazbeeshobbyland.com. I think t we have a WWE product on the website too. That also drops tomorrow, jazbeeshobbyland.com. And of course, Panini gold standard football so they took the basketball treatment to football that drops tomorrow so all the cards will be gold so got a big new release date today i have a feeling that we'll, we'll probably have a flurry of breaks early on so buy in early and often on jazbeeshobbyland.com so i've got a feeling there'll be a flurry of breaks early on and then it'll start slowing down a little bit um 
it'll start slowing down a little bit later tonight because people will probably be focusing on new releases. At that point, we'll we'll probably discuss together the new releases and go through checklists together and kind of move some spots and get some momentum going for tomorrow's day. And then we'll uh, then we'll go we'll go from there. Uh, it should that, that yeah that WWE should sell, Ruben. We're only doing one box breaks. Now, the last time I checked, there's more than one box that comes out of a case. So I'm sure we'll do a number of those. Now, I don't know how many cases we got, though, but probably not many. But there'll be, there'll be more breaks to post uh, if and when that WWE sells out. Now, tomorrow will be a very exciting day, which is great because I was out of town and I just, just flew in, you know, three or four, about four hours ago. Went home, went straight, showered really quick, came straight back to Redondo Beach to break with you guys. So this should be a good chill day, and tomorrow will be the busy one. Let me sip some coffee here. Hot, hot, hot. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. All right, here we go. So this is, uh, sorry, this is 2000, where are you again? 2015 Bowman Baseball Asia Edition, which means there are some parallels in there that were exclusive only to that release. Okay. All right. So let's breeze through these. These are not numbered, so I'm going to blow right by these. But um, they will ship because they are considered inserts. Let me adjust the focus just a wee bit here. I think right around there should be good. All right. But we'll obviously stop on... Uh, we'll obviously stop on uh, autographs and any numbered cards they may be. It's a nice Jeff Hoffman. There should be um, some Aaron Judge hidden in here. Not too many, but it is certainly a possibility. That's a nice Chris Bryant right there. Let me pull back on the focus just a teeny bit more. There you go. That's a nice one for the Cubs. And I'll pull, if I see any, uh, even if it's paper, just because Aaron Judge being Aaron Judge, if I see an Aaron Judge paper, well, there's our first auto. I'll pull the Aaron Judge paper. Uh, Steven Gonzalez is your autograph. There you go. Nice one for the Twins. And that'll head out to Minnesota. Adam K. Uh, yes, Ruben, I'm, I'm sure we'll do... We, we've, we've done WWE stuff in the past. We've definitely done it in the past. And um, if it seems like a product that our crew would love, then we'll usually get a little bit of it. But it's not something we get, you know, all the time. But we're trying to, trying to stretch out the horizons of Jaspie's Hobbyland. So you, I'm sure you'll see more stuff like that. So these, I don't think these are numbered. They're not, but they're just different parallels, which will which will ship. Tie black, sixty out of one fifty, uh, blue paper for the Giants. Giants that'll go to Robbie Pond, who has a San Francisco baseball Giants. A little opposite Joe Mojo as well. He went oppo. I usually I would go a little bit faster than this, but I got to keep an eye out for um, for Mr. Judge. I wouldn't be surprised if one of these base cards in here for Aaron Judge would be like I don't know five, ten bucks or something like that. Every little bit helps. He has a mini autograph in here somewhere. So if we get a bonus auto, maybe that that could be it. 304 out of 499, Maya, for the uh, Giants as well. That will be a gray paper, another one for Robbie Pond. But 
There's Jose De Leon. This is still Dodgers edition, 194 out of 250. Purple Chrome. That'll go to Lionel and the Dodgers. We've finished the first half of the season incredibly strong, which I'm happy about. Hopefully they can keep it going. There's Alex Verdugo, who I believe played in the Futures game yesterday. I was out of town, so I wasn't able to, to watch any of that, but I'm sure I could find it somewhere. I thought that was numbered. It's not. All right, no Aaron Judge base card in here, but a nice box nonetheless. So that was 2015 Bowen Baseball. Asia edition. Sold exclusively to Asia for, for a minute or two before it opened up to, to our market. Um, 2016 is where we're going to dive into. Let's move into the world of 2016. This is Topps Chrome Baseball. Two autographs per box. We'll see. We'll see some more. Uh, some, some more parallels and an additional autograph and more big leaguers in here as well. Oh, Verdu was also in the AAA All Star game. Nice, good for him. He could be could be future for the Dodgers or at least a valuable trading chip. I was listening to the Baseball Tonight podcast uh, not too long ago, and Buster only had said something interesting that maybe the Dodgers could work out a deal with someone like Andrew McCutcheon. Kutch is having a good season. Would be a great right-handed bat for the Dodgers in a lefty-heavy lineup. Could be interesting. Who would they give up? Maybe a Yasiel Puig. And I'm sure there's, there has to be prospects involved, too. I wonder if they would... I don't think they'd ever... I don't think they're going to let go of Garrett Cole just yet, right? Dodgers could use... I think he's a righty, right? Garrett Cole? Dodgers could use a sort of number two, number three sort of right-handed starter. You know, this guy is pretty good when he wants to be, but even so, doesn't go past that fifth or sixth inning very often. So he doesn't really go necessarily go as deep into games as you'd, as, as you'd want him to. Brandon McCarthy kind of up and down with injuries. You know, I mean, pretty much the rest of the rotation. So Alex Wood is, is doing very, very well. But we'll see. Mm, Dodgers really don't have to do much, but they could tweak or add just a, a piece or two that could get them there. All right, next box. Good luck. Matt Carpenter will lead things off. Zach Granke, those refractors are not numbered. I don't think these are numbered as well. Cubs having a weird, rough season, right? There's David Ortiz. Uh, we were just talking about Gary Cole. Yes, he is a right-hander. And there's Blue Nomar Mazzara. 007 out of 150. 007. Do -do 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 -do. And Kelby Tomlinson is your first autograph. Rangers. Uh, that will go to Adam K. The Nomar Mazzara. And Robbie with the Giants. And uh, Chris M. saying, suggesting that Cole probably is on the way out. I mean, the Dodgers have the prospects that, that the team like the Pirates would like. TJ reporting that uh, TJ, of course, as many of you know, uh, works for the Tulsa Drillers, the Dodgers AA team. And he's saying they just got uh, Will Smith called up or moved up to AA. 61 out of 99, nice Bryce Harper Chronicles insert. Nice one for the Nats. That'll go to Lee. Will Smith, a very good uh, defensive catcher. Matt Reynolds, blue, is your other autograph out of here. 22 out of 150 for the Metropolitans. Brian Evans. There you go, Brian. Who was asking a little bit earlier the odds on a Henry Owens rookie auto. Should be zero at this point.
Just talking about Puig. Oh, there, there, look at this. There's Puig. There's McCutt. I was just talking about those guys. Does Tops know something that we don't? Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. It's interesting. All right, just looking for the, any other inserts, but it doesn't look like you. Darvish might be on the move as well. But are the Rangers going to be sellers, maybe? I don't know. Maybe? Or do they believe they have a, a chance at the wild, uh, at a wild card spot? And, of course, once you're in the playoffs, playoffs, anything can happen, especially in baseball. Otherwise, if you don't believe you're going to get to the playoffs, the Rangers got to make some moves. New Darvish is going to be out of a contract at the end of this season, unrestricted free agent. So unless the Rangers believe they could re-sign him, they may have to trade him. I mean, they could trade him, get prospects, and they could try to re-sign him too. Why not? I, I, that's happened a couple times before. I've seen that happen a couple times before, right? For Especially for bigger name players. Sip on some coffee a little bit. I think I've seen that happen. Guy gets guy gets dealt in the middle of the season for prospects, you know, and and, and as a rental to a team for for a couple months in the playoffs, and then that that team is able to to uh, to, to re-sign him as a free agent. All right, Brian saying the McCutcheon has been on fire though. He has been on fire. Hopes that the all-star break or even a trade doesn't rock that momentum that McCutcheon has been having lately. Yeah, kind of uh, just fixed a little something in his swing from what I hear. And then he's been off to the races since. But proving that, uh, proving that he still has... Um, Proving that he still has uh, some very productive years left. Oh, no worries, Brian. Uh, the other auto out of it was uh, Kelby Tomlinson for the Giants. That was the other one. That was for Robbie. Oh, I see. Chris saying that they, they sent, yeah, Shark, Samarja, and Hamill away to get Addison Russell and then brought back Hamill. Yeah, something like that, right? Yeah, it's, it's happened recently a couple times. Okay, this is uh this is 2017. Well, you know what? We should we should stay in two. I didn't realize that we had still had another box of 2016 sitting right here. So let's do that really quick, and then we'll go into 2017, and then we'll go we'll go into the two TriStar uh, Odyssey right there. All right, there's Roberto Alomar. There's Sean Manea, there's Roger Clemens, and a short print of Giancarlo Stanton, who was uh, who didn't make it too far in the home run derby. I thought it was going to last a little bit longer. And your autograph is for the Reds, Jose Peraza, on card auto for Virgil and the Red Legs. But I think Giancarlo Stanton was, they were playing a game in like San Francisco, I think. And, and and then from San Francisco, that's nice, David Ortiz, six out of 60. That'll go to the Red Sox. That'll be for Travis Neve. Um, I, I think what happened was that, that he got into town on, on Monday in Miami, like at like five in the morning, he got like two hours of sleep and then had all these all-star media commitments and all that stuff. And uh, I think he was just kind of tired. <laughs> but yeah, he was he was upset. 
early on in the home run derby. All right, there's no more Mazzara. And there's Purple Paper, Jose Bautista, 001, out of 250. I think that's, that's not gray paper. So this is 2017 Bowman Baseball. And there's Alex Cora. That's a facsimile autograph. That's a buyback. That'll go to the, uh, the Joey Bats purple paper goes to the Blue Jays. Sorry, I didn't call that out. Cruz with that one. And then the um, Dodgers Alex Cora will go to Lionel. Those buybacks, depending on the color of the stamp, um, that will determine how short printed it is or it isn't. For the Braves, Ronald Asuna. Acuna? Acuna. Refractor auto for TJ, 348 out of 499. Savage, Rays fan, said Justin Bohr did better, and he had he had to deal with the same effects. It's true. I don't think Jay, I don't think Justin uh, Justin Bohr had as many uh, media obligations. He probably got to sleep in a little bit longer. <laughs> a little bit more people looking for Giancarlo Stan interviews. I mean, no offense to Justin Bohr, but media commitment wise. All that, all that adds up, folks. People just think, oh, they're just doing interviews. It adds up. Garrett Whitley, Blue Wave. Those are just a non-numbered insert that will definitely ship. We were just talking about you, Justin. I think these 70th anniversary ones are not numbered, just FYI. They will still ship, of course. Joey Votto. I like these old school looks right here. I think that's pretty cool. Let's see if there's any other parallels that we can dig up. There's Aaron Judge. We'll save that. I'm sure I'm sure that'll go for something, as as will this. <laughs> Yankees. That'll that'll be for Mary Lou. With the way pretty much anything that says Aaron Judge on it, with the way they're valued on a secondary market, it's pretty hot. He did just fine in the home run derby. Looks like another buyback coming up. There it is, Homer Bush, Padres. And looks like that is that. All right, Diamond Kings coming up. Let me sleeve all of these up here. Like seriously, some someone someone look this up. Bowman Scouts top one hundred, Aaron Judge. Number forty five. Someone look it up. That's about how many home runs he might have by the end of the season. But I'll bet that goes for like <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that goes for like ten or fifteen bucks. You know, something crazy like that. I wouldn't be surprised if this like paper base card goes for like five dollars. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But hey, He's a big dude performing in the biggest market, media market in the country, if you know, and one of the biggest in the world. And there you go. All right, Diamond Kings baseball.
And then we'll go into these two uh, TriStar Odyssey uh, envelopes right here. Arthur says six to ten bucks for for which one? The top, the Bowman's Scouts one hundred, or the base card, <laughs> or both. Uh, just a quick note on that TriStar Odyssey. A lot of times they can be they can be cut autos. So um, and if so if like if it's not like a baseball card basically with his team uniform on it, we'll say that it goes to the team that he played for the longest. If it's a Hall of Fame thing. Um, I think we've also been doing it as the team he's played for the longest, but I think most Hall of Famers will go in with the team they play for the longest, so it hasn't really been a big issue. Unless it's like Dave Winfield. <laughs> if it's Dave Winfield, I think he went in as a Padre, but he, but in, for our purposes, it'll go to the team he played for the longest, which I believe will be the Yankees. And we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay, so Arthur says that that just normal Bowman Scouts 100 of Aaron Judge is six to ten dollars. So that's that's not bad at all. That's like um, that's like a third of the break. What, how much does this break cost? Thirty bucks or something like that? I forget, but twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, thirty bucks. So that one card pays for a third of the break. Okay, here we go. Uh, Chipper Jones leads us off. Alex Reyes. This is 2017 at Diamond Kings Baseball. So we'll breeze through these uh, base cards here. We'll, we'll save that because that might go for like a million dollars. It's crazy. I, I mean, I love it. It's it, I'm not I'm not making fun of it. I'm just I just think it's cool and and that that it's done. That it just kind of blows my mind a little bit. There's Jose Rendon, gray frame. Kyle Schwarber, gray frame. Uh, there's Mookie Betts. That's, those are possible variations. And we'll set those aside. Billy Herman, Joe Musgrove. There's Don Larson, perfect game. Max Scherzer, who I believe started the All-Star game, which we're watching kind of concurrently as we're doing this break. Cole Hamels for the Rangers is your dual relic. Nice one for the Rangers. That will go to Texas. Adam K. with that one. Roberto Clemente, Cargo, Gray Frame. We should have an autograph in here somewhere, right? Let's go this way. And is it Jake Arietta? It is, nice. 15 out of 15 dual relic and autograph. Jake Arietta for the Chicago Cubs, Robbie Pond with that. Pee-wee Reese, red frame for my Dodgers, 74 out of 99. And that was Diamond Kings. All right, so once again, just as a reminder for the Odyssey, our, our uh, I guess we, we usually call them college rules, but it's basically any team that, or any player where it is not clear, like if it's a cut autograph or even if he's in his college uniform, where it's not clear what major league team he's supposed to go to. That's when we use what we call our college rule. So we'll go to the team he played for the longest. I think most everybody knows that rule by now. Every 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 breaker seems to have a slightly different house rule on that. So always be sure to check. Okay, good luck everybody. Let's start with this first one. Oh, these have these, these little uh, informational cards, and I like to pretend it's a game show. So let's let's do this. So everyone can guess. All right. Um, oh, th that's too obvious. I can't say that. Okay, I can say that. Okay, Hall of Famer in 1982. Hall of Famer in 1982. 1957. Nah, that, I can't say that. Uh, okay, four, would give it away. Four-time league leader in home runs and RBI. Four-time league leader in home runs and RBI. Three-time gold glove winner and two-time batting champion. 
21-time All-Star, 21-time All-Star. This this guy played for 23 years, 21 of those years, All-Stars. The only year he was, I'm looking at his baseball reference page right now. He's, the only years that he wasn't an All-Star, his first year and his last season that he ever played. So his rookie year and his last season. 1970, Lou Gehrig Memorial Award. I think TJ's got it and he must be happy. 1957, NL MVP. Five, TJ's got it. It's Hank Aaron. 500 home run club, 3,000 hit club, second most home runs of all time with 755. The World Series champ was with the Braves, 1957. Hall of Fame in 82. The He played 23 seasons for Atlanta and Milwaukee, which were the Braves. They're all Braves. No, no disputing it. Bam! Right there for TJ and the Atlanta Braves. Hank Aaron, PSA DNA certified postcard. No doubt about it. There it is. I oh, even got a serial number right here on the postcard too. Nice. Man, this batch of TriStar Odyssey has been strong. Love it. Nice. So there you go, TJ. Nicely done. And the last one, folks. And then we give away a Steiner box. TJ's excited. You're welcome, man. You are welcome. All right. We've got one more guessing game to play. We've got... Uh, born in 1908. Died in 2005. Uh, MLB catcher and manager... Two-time All-Star selection and a Hall of Famer. Hall of Fame in 1977. Oh, was it Brewer in the last season? Oh, John Oker said it's Brewer last season. It's still, still Milwaukee. Oh, right, because Milwaukee in the late... Of course. Um, he, the team he played for the most... That's, that's, the, that's the wrong... Person. Why did I type in that? There you go. Yeah, he played. Ah, oh, this is, might be a randomizer. No, you know what? The tiebreaker always, has always been games played. Not banks. All right. Uh, the tiebreaker will go to. We'll go. By games, because he played seven seasons for the same for two different teams, which is the same season. So we tiebreaker goes by games, right here, and it'll be a cut auto of Al Lopez. PSA DNA on an in index card, Al Lopez. Now Al Lopez, we're gonna go to the, the baseball reference screen right here. There he is. Uh, played seven seasons with Pittsburgh, played seven seasons with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Um, the tiebreaker, of course, in this instance, are games. We do, the, we do the same thing with football, too, the number of games they played. 762 with the Dodgers versus 756 with the Pirates. This will go to the Dodgers. That goes to uh, Lionel Cortez with the Al Lopez. So there we go. All right. Set that aside. Now, let's do a randomizer. We're going to see who is going to get that Steiner box. Let's go back to random.org. There are the numbers of the Steiner boxes right here. We're starting to run out, so we may have to go down the list here. We'll go with Anthony down to Lee. There it is. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to randomize, we're going to use the same dice roll, but we're going to randomize the boxes first because I want to bring out the box first and kind of deliver that hype a little bit. Okay, here we go. So for both, wow, full 12 times for both lists. 12 times for both box numbers first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12th and final time. The box on top is 10. Now, if we don't see 10, we'll go to three and so on and so forth. I think we only have a handful of boxes left. 10 or three? Four. Four is three. No 10? What about three? Jason Jaspi, help him out. No three? Six. 
No six. How about twelve? Twelve. There's twelve is a yes. All right. So we went down the list. Twelve is a yes. We're doing it this way because I know, I know we're running out of boxes, but it's just we started it that way. So now we just want to be as consistent as possible. There's twelve, right there. All right. So we have a couple large boxes left, right? We have a couple large, two large boxes left, says Jason Jaspi. And we have a number of these uh, photo, a few of these photos still left. Oh, before I do this, I, we should see who, win, who wins this. It's been a long weekend, folks. Um, 12 times for the winner, sorry. They're like, Joe's just gonna open this, huh? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time. The name on top gets that Steiner box right there, as curated by Jaspies. Name on top is <laughs> Arthur. Ho ho ho! Look at this, Arthur. After twelve times on the randomizer. And you get box 12. And box 12? That's some Illuminati stuff right there, actually. All right, Arthur. Congrats, man. Watch, it's a Dodger. Or like a All Laker. Right. <laughs> Arthur's a big Arizona guy. Or like an Eagle. I want it to be like Randall Cunningham. Or cool. <laughs> um, basketball? Oh, nice. oh, nice. The pony. Porzingis. That's very cool. He's he, like an orange ink autograph too. Oh, that's legit right there. There it is. So this is a huge, this is 16 by 20, I think. It, you got the Steiner memorabilia, hologram sticker and all that on the bottom left-hand corner, Arthur. And there is, that's a great shot of Porzingis too. I don't know who's that way in the background lifting his arms up. That must've been some sort of breakaway play. And you got the pony, orange ink autograph, right on the court, on the three-point line right there. That's a beautiful one, man. That's great. So there you go. And, and it's, it's, it's a team that I think you're neutral about, so it's good. It's not like a Laker or anything like that. All right. Watch is like Lonzo Ball. Um, Arthur, congrats, man. I know you've been trying for big hits for like a couple weeks, and I think you've been on a cold streak for two, two or three weeks or something like that. But as I said, if you keep trying... One of these days, you're going to get something, you're going to get like one big hit. And I think you won the randomizer and you got the one big hit right here. So there you go. Arthur, thank you very much. Everybody, thank you very much. That was the Jaspi 7 Box All-Star ba Random Team Baseball Mixer, number three with the Steiner giveaway right here from jazbeeshobbyland.com on a Tuesday, the 11th. This is Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check our website for more of these kind of promos and giveaways, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.